Welcome to day 21 of your yoga practice. My name is Mary. It is the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, so today we're going to go through a couple rounds of sun salutations to welcome back the sun. Let's get started. We'll begin by sitting down and we'll just do a little experiment here. So if you've it's morning and you've just woken up, you might find that you're a little bit tight. So just see how far you can forward fold. So hinging at your hips straight back. And just make a note of where you're at. Maybe it's your thighs or your shins or your toes. Okay, so come forward and we'll loosen up our spines a little bit with a round of cat cow. So spread your fingers wide, your knees hip width distance apart, hands under shoulders. Take a breath in, bring your chest forward, tailbone up. Exhale, tuck in your spine, navel to spine, tailbone in, chin to chest. And one more time, breathing in and out. All right, from here, curl your toes and then bring your hips high and back towards downward dog. Bend your knees a lot. Pedal your feet, let your neck relax. Just loosening up the body a little bit before we start. And then look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands to come to halfway lift. Bend your knees a lot, forward fold, hinge at your hips, let your neck relax so the crown of your head will be towards the floor. You could hold on to opposite elbows and just sway back and forth, just finding length in your spine. Now tense your fingers on the floor, press your feet into the ground. We're gonna roll up, but keep your chin tucked to your chest. So just very slowly. And once you arrive at a standing position, stand tall in Tadasana or mountain pose. So have your feet about hip width distance apart. Now press your feet into the ground, bring your arms out and up, and exhale, hinge and fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step back to plank, or plank on knees, and then we're gonna sink into child's pose. Breathe in, come to all fours, curl your toes, bring your hips high and back to downward dog. Look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands to come to halfway lift. Hinge at your hips to forward fold. Press your feet into the earth, rise up, arms out and up. Bring your hands to your heart and down to your sides. Take a deep breath in, arms up. Hinge and forward fold, tense your fingers. Step back into plank or plank on knees and then onto all fours, and then sink into child's pose. Breathe in, come to all fours, curl your toes, bring your hips high and back to downward dog. Look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands to come to halfway lift. Hinge and forward fold, press into the ground, rise up, reaching, extending, Bring your hands to your heart and down to your sides. That was one round. Let's do another one. Deep breath in, arms out and up. Hinge at your hips to forward fold. Plant your hands, step your feet back into plank. Plank on knees, lower all the way to your belly. Rest your forehead on the mat. Lift up into baby cobra as you inhale. Exhale down. Press into all fours. Curl your toes. Bring your hips high and back to downward dog. Look to your hands. Walk your feet up to your hands to come to halfway lift. Hinge at your hips to forward fold. Press into the earth to rise up, reaching, extending. Bring your hands to your heart 
and down to your sides. Full deep breath in, arms out and up, hinge and forward fold at your hips, plant your hands, step your feet back into plank, plank on knees, lower all the way to your belly, rest your forehead on the mat, draw your shoulder blades back and together, rising up into baby cobra, exhaling forehead on the mat. Press up into all fours, curl your toes, bring your hips high and back to downward dog. Look to your hands, walk your feet up to your hands to come to halfway lift. Hinge and forward fold, press into the ground to rise up, reaching, extending. Bring your hands to your heart and down to your sides. Welcome, sun. So let's go down to a seated position. And let's just check out and see where we're at with a forward fold. So hinge at your hips. And just see how much space you've gained. And if you haven't gained any space, that's fine. But you might feel more open, less stiff. Sit up tall and then... We're going to go onto our backs. So lower down, full body stretch. So stretch your arms one direction and your feet the next, and then come into your resting pose. Could be Shavasana or any pose where you can find stillness for the last bit of class. So feel yourself settling in to the earth. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere and just start to relax the muscles where the tension resides. Oftentimes it's in the neck, shoulders, maybe in your face, your jaw, your tongue. And just feel yourself settling in. Now picture yourself where you are on this planet. The earth is tilted away from the sun, the furthest it's going to be. And as you're resting here, think of that spot where the earth is tilted as a pause. And take a moment to reflect on the year or actually the last six months. And now think about that we'll soon be on our trip back towards the sun. And just imagine the possibilities for the coming six months. And you could take time this last nine days or ten days before the year ends just reflecting on your life, on yourself, on your family. You don't need to make any decisions, just reflecting and taking a pause. Take a full deep breath in through your belly. Expand your ribs all the way up to your chest. And then let the air go completely through your mouth. Roll onto your side and take a moment in gratitude, thanking yourself for taking the time for self-care. And then when you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position. Draw your hands to your heart. We'll take another full deep breath as a class. Deep breath in and let the air go. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.